So in our previous video, we created two models. One model was post and the other was category. And in this video, we'll be talking about creating CRUD operations, about CRUD func functionality of both the post and the categories model. So whenever we create a category, we, whenever we, we create, we have multiple categories and if we need to create a new post, then we can select multiple categories for a single post. So what I've done is I have created two folders. One is categories and the other is post. In our categories folder, I have created a file called create.blade.php. So what it basically consists of is a simple form which has a field called field for our category title. So it consists of only a uh, input type of type text and the placeholder that I'm giving is enter category title and the functionality of uh, posting or storing the category is will be discussed in this video. And similarly, we have a post table post folder which consists of a create.blade.php file which consists of two fields two input fields one is for our post title and the other is for our description so we'll give we'll be giving the names and the post action form action and all everything in this video so first of all what we'll do is we'll create a pivot table for our post and category table category model so the way we'll define our pivot table between our post and the categories model is by defining a certain is by following a certain format so if we have a post and the categories table so we should we need to create a pivot table in such a way that in a in such a way that we need to follow the alphabetical order so i'll just show you how you can define it so let's create a migration php artisan make migration and since we are creating a pivot table so what we'll do is we will create we'll do write create underscore and our categories table c comes first so we'll write create c a t e g o r y so the name of our model is category underscore and post comes later so what we'll do is we'll write and the name of our model is post and we'll define we'll write table so create category underscore post under table we'll create a table called category underscore post which will be our pivot table for categories and post models so let's hit enter and our migration file has been created so let's go to our migration folder and as you can see it has a schema for category underscore post table so what we'll do here is we'll define two fields for our category id and post id so the first will be of type unsigned big integer which has category underscore id and the next will be also of type unsigned big integer and which has a name of post underscore id and let's also define our foreign key relationship between these two tables so our table foreign so the way we define our foreign key constraint is by defining table foreign category id since we are defining for our category id references id on the table on categories table and what should happen whenever we delete it so whenever we delete it all the posts related to this category should also be deleted and let's also implement the same functionality for our post id foreign key so table foreign post id references id on post table and 
should be deleted whenever you delete a post so let's migrate Our migration has been done and let's go and check our php my admin and as you can see we have a category underscore post table which consists of category id and post id and which will store our many to many relationship between our category and post model so our next step is to create a quirt functionality for our category model so let's go to our vs code and we have a folder called categories which consists of a file called create.blade.php and what we'll do is we'll create a we'll create the routes layer let's first define the action for this so what should happen when we click on add category button it should go to category dot store route <clears throat> and let's also give it a name for this so the name will be category underscore name class form control and enter category title and let's create our route for this let's go to our routes web.php and let's define a route for this I'll just copy and paste it so what I'll do is I'll define a route called category not create okay for work one is required for create as well so in order to return a view so category create will go to categories controller at the rate create and the name will be category dot create and the other one will be of type post which will go to category store categories controller at the rate store and the name will be category dot store and let's define our controller for that so php artisan make controller categories controller and let's also give a resource tag a controller has been created so let's go to our categories controller and what we'll do is we'll return oops return a view of backend dot categories dot create and in order to store that what we'll do is category create and which will take an array which has a let's check our migration file migrations category which has a field of name so the name will be request category underscore name and as soon as we do that <coughs> let's return redirect back with a message of success as category added successfully let's test it out now and one more thing that we need to do is we have a master file so what we can do is we can define the link here so what i'll do is i'll just uncomment this file uncomment this li and let's give it a name of k 
categories and what we need to do is we'll go to category okay c-a-t-g-r by category dot create and let's also give it a name of add a category and view all since we haven't defined this route so what I'll do is I'll just comment this for now and let's reload our page okay what I've done here is this is a simple admin panel which is empty so I have implemented this li class and it should be visible in this area so let's refresh it and we have a field for we have a link for categories and as soon as I click on add a category we go to our create.blade.php as defined in our routes for in our web.php file so whenever we hit category create it goes to categories control as a recreate and let's also test let's also let's give it a name of some name and add it okay we need to define our fillables so let's go to our category model and define our fillables here predicted fillable equal to name let's save and reload continue and we are redirected back so our category has been added successfully so let's refresh our database and you can see we have a name of some name and we'll be implementing the CRUD functionality for our post model as well